Jackson. We should return to not fall with our reporter while we can. We can bring Kjotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Jot returns, we weigh our next move. <laughs> With each day we wait, Kurtve grows stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. Heed my warnings, or be. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kyotr's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotr learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need, Yeria. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Grow in these waters. Afraid? I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nuchtfall from Kirkwood. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his death! Oh, yeah! my travels, Stevian did not trust fate for both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Never heard the story of the time Odin and Freya appeared before me on a dark winter's night. They caught 
They called you the orphan child, yes, dog. We've heard the tale as often as the sun has risen and set. <laughs> Stop that! not to draw attention here.
little raven clan. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. <laughs>